Hi and welcome to this course on Memories in VLSI. In this video, we will try to understand and we will provide an introduction to read-write memory, also called as random access memory or RAM by some people or some books. Read-write memory is a memory which can be both read and written very easily, which means to say that writing to the memory as well as reading from the memory have almost the same speed. RAM is mostly a misnomer. We can classify these as volatile memory because RAM, we told that random access memory is a broader classification which will include the ROM as well. So sometimes calling RAM is, is not the right thing. We can maybe call them as volatile memory because the memories under this uh, read write memories are mostly volatile memories. It is not true that there are no memories which are non-volatile in read-write memory. Volatile in the sense that they will have or store the data until and unless there is power supplied to these uh, memories. We will have both enable signal and read-write signal which is supplied. So this read-write signal will tell us which operation we need to perform uh, to this memory. Memory cells used in volatile memories can be divided into two types. The first one is static memory or static RAM. Static cells use feedback to maintain the state. That's the reason why it is called as static. So these static RAMs need not get refreshed or something. That's because they don't lose the charge at all. And the second type of memory is dynamic um, memory cell the dynamic cells use charge stored on a floating capacitor through an access transistor so the charge on the capacitor is possibly that it will start leaking as soon as it has been written so in order to keep that charge on that capacitor we may have to refresh it multiple times that's why it is called as dynamic uh, cell so srams and drams are the most popular memories of uh, read write category register file also belongs to the read write memory but it's again a type of sram which is used in uh, larger arrays flip flops or register files are faster than srams and both are used as on chip memories compared to the dram because since the dram cannot be usually manufactured in conventional um, CMOS fabrication flow, it is not used as an on-chip memory. It is used as a sec main memory in a different chip or die. So this is a brief introduction on read-write memory. We will have a very thorough and comprehensive understanding of both SRAM and DRAM discussing about their read-write operations, their uh, RAM cells, as well as their array structures, and many other things about them uh, in the further videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video, and bye-bye.